look, I think everybody's blowing this out of proportion. And I think it's probably best to wait until the full interviews come out before you start running down Ronaldo. Um, I've run down Ronaldo plenty of times in the past, and I probably will do plenty of times in the future. But there's only like two or three clips out of him speaking, and they're like a minute, a minute and a half each. <clears throat> and in all of them, he hasn't said anything crazy like you can tell he's had plenty of media training because he's saying stuff like oh i don't think the club's moved on much since alec ferguson left uh they got the same training facility or they've got the same chef they got the same technology like is what he's saying which is true because we've heard it come out from various other sources and they've said exactly the same thing um particularly a piss take that's not particularly jumping out of the box Okay, then obviously now you've got the Ten Hag comment. But if you read the transcript of what he actually said, it wasn't, like, bad. Like, the way, like, he's saying, I feel betrayed. Yeah, which is, like, a small snippet that's inside of St. Kells, yeah, where he said, people in Man United, they didn't want me here. They tried to get rid of me. Not just the manager, but people at the very top, I feel betrayed. But it doesn't, it's not as bad as it sounds. So, as, as I said before, I would prefer to actually watch the whole interview rather than just taking those sound bites, clickbaits, and running around talking reckless and that. 